Did you know that in the digital art world, there are many helpful tools? Today, let's take a look at the Mass Tool and Sketchable app. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D illustrator and I'm here to walk you through the Mass Tool and Sketchable app. Let's get started by opening Sketchable. Get your copy from the Microsoft Store available on all Windows 10 devices. Merge all visible. Boom, there we go. Make a new layer so we got something to work with here. So on the left hand side, you'll see that there's a lot of tools here. And right below the butterfly or the symmetry tool is the mass tool. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we can see various options and tools here. So the first one, uh, of course, is a check mark. Once you like your, your masking tool, uh, you click on your check mark and it stays there so you can do other things uh, and draw. Um, if you don't, if once you're done with your tool, you can always exit out or we're out. Let me go ahead and get rid of my drawing, this part that I did. Got it, got it. And let me go ahead and turn off that layer. So the, the first uh, tool is gonna let us know, uh, it's our shapes, right? It's gonna let us know what shape we're working with. What do we want, right? So there we go. And then you'll notice that any shape that I select, there's this blue uh, dot on it. I'm gonna show you what that blue dot does in a second. So let's say we got a rectangle. There we go, bam, bam, bam. Got my rectangle set, love it. Oh yeah, so anytime I draw over that mask area, nothing happens, right? Okay, 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 that's cool, Dan. Let me play with this a little more. And now let's try this blue dot. Let me move it out. <laughs> I don't know for that. So when you're starting to draw and, uh, and you need to add a fade to some part of your drawing, this is where you go. So now let's see what that looks like. Boom, look at that. There it is. That's the masking. The masking covered up an area that you cannot draw on. And this blue dot also makes sure that you cannot, that you can get some type of gradient if you want. So let's do that gradient again. Now let's use the eraser. And then look, I'm erasing everything on the outside of that uh, gradient. Let's, go. Let's make it dramatic. There we go. That's dramatic. Look, so when you want some faded out areas, you can do that. It's, it's going to be a combination of things. It can be the the brush tool or any drawing tool, and then your eraser. Oh, wow. I just wish all these tools were around a long time ago when I started drawing. Okay, let's close, let's X that out, and look, there it is. That's a clean, beautiful fade. I like that. What? Okay, so there are other shapes, right? So there's many shapes you can try out. Um, uh, let me bring that back. Boom. Uh, the eyeball is going to give you a chance to either see the mask or not see it, right? Um, uh, and I think I missed something. Let me see. Where? Oh, there it is. This one. So now here is also going to give you a choice of determining what part you want mask. Which part do you want the masking to work? Is it the inside of the shape or the outside of the shape? So now, if I go ahead and uh, use my eraser, I can, boom, see? There's a particular place that's masked out. There you go. Yes, yes! <laughs> Let me um, X that out and look. So of course it did the sharp edge um, erasing or it kind of faded it out right there. Nice. 
and it's all through the masking tool. So we we can do the outside or the inside. We can see it or not see it. And it, it's helpful to turn it off sometimes so then you can determine, um, it, you can see what your colors are or what your shapes and everything that you're drawing down here and, uh, and the masking is not in the way. Symmetry tool, we go right here, nice and Put it in color. Mm-hmm. Bam, masking. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Hold on, that wasn't it. That was not it. No, I'm on. I'm on back. Make it a circle. Everything moves. There's the circle. Oh, look at that. So let me put the circle. Can I move the circle? Yes, move the circle in here. And I have the fade, right? There it is. <laughs> and then, boom, erase. Oh, that's the filling in. No, let's fill it in. Let's do the, no, let's, yeah, let's fill it in with another color. So that's on the outside. Oops, you can't touch the thing here. Look at that, so it's got that fade on it. Wow, but it's, and it's gonna show up uh, when you when you use your symmetry tool and, uh, um, and the symmetry tool is on. So it says called respect the symmetry, nice. Or don't respect the symmetry and now we're just talking about, um, let's go here. Now we're just talking about this one, huh? Crazy. Let's go right there, right there. There it is. Boom. So now, if you don't use your um, symmetry tool, then it's only going to work on one edge at a time. Hmm. Interesting. Let me turn it off. There it is. Look at that. Crazy cool. Uh, shape. Let me get the shape. Let me turn it on so I can see it. Right, let me go ahead and just do, use the inside. I think this stands for the inside. Oh. oh, the outside, this is the outside, so this is the inside. I want the inside to be affected only. Can you see that? Nice. Very cool. Let me make that a little bigger. No, this one. What? Just doing stuff now. What? Okay, okay, okay. So, so sometimes you just lock it, like right now, so then that way uh, I don't accidentally move it as I did earlier. Yes, yeah, that's what that's for. Plus, we also have, of course, our uh, mass settings so we can change. And I showed you the feather already. Let me turn that on. Uh, turn it, unlock it. So you can see the feathering here. But, oops but it's also over here. So as soon as I changed it on this side, it uh, it changed it over here. And so there it goes, look at that, the feathering, I can rotate. Uh, if it was a shape, then it, uh, a square shape or rectangle, then it, the rotation would help be helpful. Plus if you have a XY position that you like to uh, control, and of course, look at that, all the rays. Oh man, this is great. <laughs> Ooh, crazy. Oh man, of course, you know, if you're into eyeballing it like I am, then boom, that works. So let's try a different color. And uh, that'll be all we do here. Wow, so there's some experimental stuff that I, I have never considered and I need to. Yes, that's cool. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. The mask tool is a nice surprise when you're digital drawing and you're able to put things into layers, colors, shapes, and objects and little by little build on your artwork. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. And I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe for more Sketchable insights. Until next time. Do 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 do